Hi, I'm talking to Alexa Stewart from Rising Tide. And um, Alexa, can you just explain um, basically what Rising Tide's aims are and their philosophy for getting there, for achieving those aims? Yeah, so Rising Tide is trying to build a mass disruptive um, movement that's primary aim is to shut down the world's largest coal port in here, here in Newcastle. So we're trying to stop all export of coal um, moving out through Newcastle Coal Port by 2030. And we're also trying to um, put an end to new coal projects. And to do that, we are yeah, going to build a massive movement with over 10,000 people um, based, I guess, here in Newcastle, but much more broadly as a national movement that is um, diverse, it's mass, and it's really disruptive and uses civil disobedience. Okay, so you're using civil disobedience as a weapon? Yeah, yeah. I mean... Um, tool, I guess, of creating that is civil resistance. Yeah. Mm, okay. And so you're planning um, a speaking tour of the East Coast and Adelaide, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So our, um, our next major national event is happening in November and it's a, a two day blockade of the coal port here in Newcastle. We'll all be getting on kayaks and, um, mm -hmm. yeah boats and being on the beach in Newcastle and stopping the movement of coal ships through the Newcastle port for um, two days, um, which has never been done before. You know, it's, we've got quite a strong tradition here in Newcastle of, of having flotilla blockades, but um, they've only ever lasted a few hours on one day. This time it'll be um, over 30 hours across two days and we're aiming to get 3,000 people, which will be um, the biggest one ever. And so, yeah, to do that, at least half of those people are going to be coming from across Australia. And so we're going on tour to, you know, pitch the event and get people travelling from across Australia to come okay. through the blockade. And I've heard that um, you've set up a branch. Are there branches of Rising Tide in other places around Australia? Yeah, so it's we're starting to see them pop up. So, you know, the idea of Rising Tide is that we kind of have a flagship battle here in Newcastle um, that is, you know, more of a um, flagship for a more national movement, you know, like the Franklin campaign was, you know, they had that specific location battle, but it was also part of a much more broad national campaign against, um, mm. yeah, you know, the loss of native forest. Um, so, yeah, that's... That's our goal, and to do that, we do need support from across Australia. And so Adelaide Rising Tide it has just um, had their first event yesterday. Um, and, yeah, they're going to be kicking off um, very soon. They're going to be doing, you know, actions in Adelaide and then also getting people to our big actions in Newcastle. That's um, fantastic. That's yeah. Well attended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they've already booked a bus coming from Adelaide and are looking at booking a second. Um, and it's really exciting. Up in Brisbane too, we've got a lot of energy up there. They're aiming to get 300 people coming to the blockade. From, from Brisbane. Brisbane? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, all right. So, um, so for, for example, Adelaide. Um, yeah. They'll be coming here to Newcastle, but they're mm -hmm. also going to be doing other events. Is that just associated with fossil fuels in general or specific to Adelaide? Or Yeah, well, we're actually in conversation still about exactly just what this will look like. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, the idea is kind of our campaign is, you know, we're against coal, we're against fossil fuels, and, you know, we believe that the way we're going to see an end to fossil fuels is by having a really symbolic movement and a symbolic struggle and while that will be happening in Newcastle at the world's largest coal port you know um it's part of a much broader national debate around fossil fuels and you know there's there's so much that people from all across Australia can be doing because it's not going to be a battle that we won just in Newcastle but it's a battle that will be won across Australia you know without all of our politics so I, I, so I understand that then like closing down the Newcastle Mm. port to coal 
will be not only a significant victory in itself, but also will be a significant symbolic victory in the fight against fossil fuels. Yeah, that's exactly it. So, yeah, we're kind of trying to, through this symbolic battle, to mobilise the whole of Australia, really, and Mm. to, you know, just increase the um, conversation around ending fossil fuels to, like, build a really strong movement here in Australia. It's like, again, with the example of the Franklin River um, blockade, you know, off the back of that came the Wilderness Society, and to this day the Wilderness Society is working to protect um, native forests and, you know, special ecosystems and wilderness places in Australia. Okay, and just one more question, Alexa. (laughs) Um, how has the mass media reaction been to Rising Tide so far? Yeah, I, we've had largely positive um, reaction. So our kind of biggest event that we did was um, 50 people were arrested for stopping a coal train um, in April and that received international media coverage. And I think um, a lot of it was really positive, you know, um, because I think we had a really clear message and that message was no new coal, which is pretty simple. And, you know, the vast majority of Australians agree with that. And I guess I think when, you know, people can see the diversity and um, the commitment and, you know, the amount of people getting involved in these actions, it can become, um, people are a lot more sympathetic, I would argue. And I guess as well, um, more sympathetic when we're going directly to the source and you know directly um causing grievance on fossil fuel companies and the criminals who are you know mining and burning fossil fuels rather than just everyday people so um yeah it's we've we've had positive um, media so far okay well I, I hope it's great i think it's, it'll be great and i'm sure that the positive coverage will continue because yeah i'm sure the media themselves they people just like us and um, the journalists and stuff, and I'm sure they would like to see sensible climate policy. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, at the blockade, we're aiming to have over 3,000 people um, and there'll be a diverse bunch, you know. It'll be a positive atmosphere. We've got, like, music stalls, um, Mm. colourful Mm. art things. So I think, you know, it's a really good way of community coming together in a way that isn't like scary or intimidating, but like just shows that it's ordinary people who really care about it. That's a great message, ordinary people who really care about it. Thanks very much, Alexa. No worries, thanks.